What's up, everyone? It is TNS Anathema, aka Optic Anathema, or Phase Anathema, or Obey Anathema. I don't know. Any of those would fit, but I think I'll just stick with TNS here. Um, this is going to be a sniper gameplay on Warehouse, and as you can see from the leaderboard, these are some of the top snipers in Modern Combat 3. I'm not going to give away what my, my end score is, but I highly recommend you uh, take a look uh, throughout the rest of the video at how amazingly well I do. Just a quick thing, two of my death deaths uh, should not have happened. Um, here, really quick, look at this. Oh, so many people, quad, oh, I missed. Oh, well, couldn't have hit it anyways. Um, but, yeah, two of my deaths should have happened. One of them uh, was from TNS Fruck Me, who is not a TNS member. He's just a fanboy and a friend of Dilf's uh, who had no other clan tag to put. So he put TNS, but he's not a real member of TNS. Uh, do not be confused um, by this. So, there's that. Uh, but the topic for the video today is going to be sniping. And uh, then I have another topic set up for a little bit later throughout the video, but for sniping. And, um, I don't know. When Trick Chance was around and doing all his sub-matches and stuff, you know, armor was rampant. Even with FMJ, your sniper rifle wouldn't, wouldn't kill in one shot. And, uh, you know, that was ridiculous. But instead of taking out armor, Gameloft made it so that armor was a one-hit kill with FMJ. And I feel like that was a better way of handling things. Look at me, terrible aim. If uh, Gameloft had just taken out armor, it would have taken something out that could have been useful in the game, you know, protect you from headshots and whatnot. Um, and it would have made it so that this game kills a lot faster, and uh, that would have been overly frustrating for everyone. So instead, they just made it so that sniper rifles have a one-hit kill with FMJ. Now, everyone runs FMJ, and now sniping is actually, like, a thing that we can do. Um, you know, I'm not the greatest sniper. I'm not really that great of a sniper, period. But I can actually do pretty well in, in sniper matches and in public lobby sniping. And uh, I feel like that's a really big achievement. And uh, I'm really thankful that Gameloft, you know, listens to its community and added in a, you know, armor, the, uh, one hit, uh, kill with FMJ for armor, so, um, hoping that we will get other interesting and in new innovative ways of handling problems in the future, and, uh, I'm really looking forward to see what, what kind of things Game Off brings to the table in its upcoming updates. Now, for the other topic, which is, like, the bigger topic of this video, I get killed by Dilf, and he's camping in a corner, right? So that's why one of my deaths shouldn't have happened, because he was assaulting, and he's such a noob for doing that, but anyways... Just, I was, I was sink, sinking, yeah, no, I was thinking about it a little while afterwards, and what is really more difficult, being a rusher or being a camper? Now, most of you might say, oh, well, being a rusher is way harder, but if you think about it, being a camper is more difficult, and here, here, let me explain why. If you're an assaulter, you automatically will be taking people off balance by coming up behind them or meeting them face-to-face -face with gunfights. If you're a rusher, you're probably a good rusher because you're successful at it and you aren't changing your play style because you're good enough at rushing that you don't need to change it. So you're probably pretty good with your ops. You're probably pretty good with your TXR, your ACM, or any other assaulting gun. But if you think about it, being a camper is way more difficult. Not only do people know where you are almost constantly for staying in the same place, people are going to keep coming to you. They're going to be dropping nades on your position. You know, they're going to be sniping at you from farther away. They're going to be shooting at you from, you know, the perfect line of sight in order to kill you. And if you weren't running camo, you're almost eternally going to be on the radar. And uh, it seems like it'd be more difficult to be a camper. You know, why do people... TNS Frock Me Jones right here. Why do people... Um, you know, hate campers so much when it's really, it takes more skill to be a successful camper than a successful rusher. Um, you know, camping is always considered, oh, what a noob tactic. But if you think about it, it is still a noob tactic because most people who camp don't really have much map knowledge or they just have a lot of map knowledge and they know what the cutoffs are and how to work them. But I don't know, just a thought. I was kind of thinking about campers in general and, uh, yeah. So, uh, quick note on sniping again, really quick. Sorry. Um, just thinking about it, Gameloft should make uh, the KR six hundred. They should either they should do one thing or a different thing. So, you know, if even without armor and even if with FMJ, like if I was shooting at someone with FMJ with my KR six hundred and they were running camo elite, it still wouldn't be a one hit kill, and that's ridiculous. You know, 
it's way better to use this gun, even if it doesn't fire automatically, because at least you can have the success and the, you know, kind of gratification of a one-hit kill. With the KR-600, you know, you have a tiny magazine size. Five bullets is nothing. Even with extended magazine, seven bullets is nothing. That's like three kills and then reload, where I could get, you know, probably ten kills or five kills with this gun, you know, if no one's running armor. And uh, I'm running, like, extended mags or whatever, but... You know, that's just, it's ridiculous. You should be able to quick scope with the Barrett 50 cal. Look at this, ridiculous. You should be able to quick scope with the uh, KR-600 at the Barrett 50 cal. And uh, it's really stupid that you don't have the ability to. You know, it's not a one-hit kill, and I feel like that's really frustrating. And, uh, you know, they should fix that, because, I don't know, it just seems like more people would definitely use it, and they would quick scope more with it, if you at least had the ability to get one kill with it. Like a one-hit kill with it, but, I don't know, just my thoughts. Uh... This gameplay is actually coming towards a close, the 75 kill limit. I will spoil the end here. 23, or 21 and 3. You know, that's a pretty good score for playing with some really beast snipers. Uh, that That's pretty good. It probably would have been even more if Dilf wasn't camping. And, uh, yeah, so I got killed by TNS Frog Me and by CS Gallery Dilf while he was camping. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. Just that was frustrating to me. I got so lucky there. I did get a kilo, and I tried to call it in, but or I did call it in, which is noob, and I probably shouldn't have thinking back on it. But anyways, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.